let's do some pensions related discussions now because we all know that uh, according to the ghana statistical service 85 percent of the working population are in the informal sector uh, but the uh, the sad part is that they don't really are not part of uh, when it comes to pensions contributions solely the former sector and the mpra has been working for some time now to ensure that they rope the informal sector in that is the question we're having uh, this morning i'm sure you're very interested if you are an informal sector worker we want you to uh, tell us what your questions are and also want you to engage us with this very discussion on how to get involved and get onto the pension scheme this morning. I've been joined in studio by Rosina Kofi, who is an officer at the MPRA Corporate Affairs Unit. Good morning, ma'am. Good morning. Okay, so I know that the inception of the three-tier uh, pension scheme uh, came into force, was it in 2018? And the three-tier, three I'm um, talking about 20, 2010, rather. Oh, okay, 2010. And I know that since 2018, the MPRA has been embarking on, you know, some sensitization project to ensure that the informal sector is roped onto the pension scheme. How far? Two years down the line. Oh, okay. Thank you very much. Let me first of all express my condolence to the family of Sir John. Okay, may his gentle soul rest in perfect peace. And um, um, NPRA started this um, action, okay, to just enroll or rope into, rope on all the informal sector workers also on pension. Mm -hmm. um, it has been so good so far, mm -hmm. so good. So many people, I mean, in the informal sector now mm -hmm. know that there's something about pensions, mm -hmm. okay? Because the sensitization is going on. We've gone through the whole nation. Every region has got their bit. Mm -hmm. Every region has got their bit. Mm -hmm. I mean, we have spoken about pensions in all aspects, mm -hmm. okay? Mm -hmm. Just like you said, 85% of them mm -hmm. are in the informal sector. Mm -hmm. Yes, so the working population as we have, I mean, the formal sector workers are just a few. Just about 25%. But, yes, and mm -hmm. then um, that's 15%. 15% yes. I beg your pardon. The informal rather mm -hmm. is very high, that mm -hmm. is 85%, yes. Mm -hmm. And these people, most of them have no pensions. Mm -hmm. I mean, uh, let me say that some time back, mm -hmm. I mean, when people are on retirement, they are supported generally by the, uh, I mean, they have the social support, System. the families mm -hmm. and all that kind of come to support them. Mm -hmm. But this has become some way mm -hmm. lately because of changes. I mean, somebody will say because of industrialization, because of migration and all that. Mm -hmm. It doesn't happen really this time round. So what is there is that every one of us, being a Ghanaian and working, mm -hmm. must do something, must, must plan for the future, mm -hmm. so that when you go on retirement, you are no more active. Mm -hmm. if, if you are a tomato seller, if you, 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 you are even a truck pusher, mm -hmm. you are I'm so kind, you import stuff and you sell and all that, I mean, you should also plan your, your life for mm -hmm. Tomorrow, mm -hmm. when you cannot do all these activities any longer, mm -hmm. then this money will come and support you. Mm -hmm. This does, didn't come, you know, out of the blues. Mm -hmm. um, in 20, uh, 2006, some workers agitated, okay, and said that, I mean, the pension that we have is not good. It's mm -hmm. not giving them what they are due mm -hmm. and that kind of thing. Mm -hmm. Others were also saying that even the informal sector do not even have any pension mm -hmm. to say. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, the president at that time, you know, m formed a committee okay. to go into it and look at how best they can uh, sort of propose some and how has pension the been? for everyone. Mm -hmm. Sorry? How has the journey been two years down the line? So two years, no, not two years, 10 years. Okay. <laughs> so I'm talking about between 2018 and between now. Between 2018 mm -hmm. and now, mm -hmm. and like I said, mm -hmm. it's been good. It's been good. But okay. we are still going on to do more. Okay. And that is why we are launching what we call Pension for All. The mobile, the the mobile, mobile sensitization, sensitization program. program. Okay. And this will be done on Monday, mm. said June. Uh, sorry, said July. Okay. We are launching this program. Our first spot will be Makola. Okay. So I mean, the 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 pickup will be there, branded MPRA pickup. Mm -hmm. I mean, with our um, what do you call it? Our jingle being aired. Okay. That's and how you announce your presence. That's how we announce okay. our presence. Mm -hmm. You hear 
the loud noise and all that, mm -hmm. then you can hear that MPRA it's around. Mm -hmm. And our aim is to make pension, you know, available to all. Okay. So you see on the van pension for all. Okay. So everyone, I mean, be a Ghanaian and working. I mean, whatever, no matter what work you do, mm -hmm. if it's pure water you sell, it is uh, roasted plantain, mm -hmm. it is tomatoes, it is cloth, whatever you do, mm -hmm. as then you are your own um, um, boss, mm -hmm. uh, mm -hmm. so to say. So, so help me with I the mean, modality, I know pension. that if you're a former sector uh, worker, uh, your salary will determine what percentage you pay yes. uh, of, of, of that. So how, how does it work with the informal sector? Okay. So the three-tier pension scheme has mm -hmm. three tiers, as okay. the name implies. Mm -hmm. So we have the first tier and second tier, which is which for the, is formal, for the sector. formal sector. Okay. And then we have the third tier, which is for the informal sector. Okay. And it is called the voluntary personal or group pension schemes. Okay. okay. Personal, because if you want to go as an individual mm -hmm. to also kind of be part of it, you can go as an individual, sign up, and then start contributing towards your future. Mm -hmm. If you want to go as a group, for instance, Coco, uh, Abrabopa, mm -hmm. they have one. Mm -hmm. As a group, they join. You have tomato sellers, they can also join. You have Okro Sellers Association, they can also join. Mm -hmm. Drug Pushers Association, Porters Association, and all that. All those people can join as a group. Mm -hmm. And it doesn't mean that when you join as a group, you should contribute as um, your neighbor is contributing. Mm -hmm. You can contribute, that is why it's voluntary, as much as your, your, your power can take you. So it doesn't matter if I contribute maybe uh, 100 cities this month, next month I could contribute lesser or more? Yes, because, okay. uh, I mean, it depends on what you get in. Mm. I mean, and is a contribution monthly or daily? It can be daily, it can be weekly, it can be monthly, mm. it can even be quarterly. Mm -hmm. Okay, it, it's voluntary, so it has been made in a way that, um, you know people in the informal sector, sometimes everything it doesn't go on the way you, you assume it will be. Right. So it could be changing at mm -hmm. any time. Mm -hmm. So however it changes, mm -hmm. you follow the trend and you pay. Mm -hmm. Some will decide to pay and say that I'm, I'm paying a, a static amount, let's mm -hmm. say a, a, a hundred cities every month. Mm -hmm. Fine, mm -hmm. that's, that's great. Mm -hmm. And then you decide to pay a hundred cities every month and a certain month, I mean, things are not working well for you. Mm -hmm. You can still pay however you wanted it mm -hmm. because you are working your own thing. You are working it for yourself. It is not anybody doing it for you. Mm -hmm. It's voluntary. But if you are consistent and you contribute towards it consistently, mm -hmm. I mean, it also helps. How, how do you explain to uh, the market women just to ensure that they buy into this idea? We know that people have concerns about how much they contributed when they were working and they are on pensions and they are getting just small. How do you explain to them that Maybe if you contribute maybe 50 CDs over a period of 10 years, when you come on pensions, this is how much you're getting. How are you able to get the message to them? Well, we tell them that, uh, look, now there is pension for you. Everybody being a Ghanaian, you can also have pensions. Mm -hmm. So what you have to do is to sign up with corporate trustees. People, the National Pensions Regulatory Authority, mm -hmm. have license to okay. do this job. Okay. We are regulators. Mm -hmm. So we see to it that um, pensions in general mm -hmm. is working. Mm -hmm. But then there are people we have license to do this job, mm -hmm. to meet the people one-on-one -on -one at the marketplace, wherever they are, okay, mm -hmm. to sign up and then start contributing. Mm -hmm. So you see a corporate trustee or you call the MPRA and then we, we give you the numbers or the concerts of these corporate trustees. Mm -hmm. You contact them and then they sign you up. Mm -hmm. They can come to wherever you are, okay. be in the market wherever you are, mm -hmm. and then you will propose to them how you want to pay. Mm -hmm. You know, there's so much um, issues about people leaving their wares and going to the bank to pay and all that. Mm -hmm. So there are innovative ways that uh, some of these trustees have introduced to kind of get those people, informal people, on board. Mm -hmm. So we have uh, some even practicing the mobile money one. You mm -hmm. can pay through mobile money. Mm -hmm. Some can come and then they have their POS 
you pay and then they print it, they show you your mm -hmm. receipt and everything. Mm -hmm. I mean, and then you, you contribute. Mm -hmm. You do that and at the end of your working life, mm -hmm. wherever you started, I mean, this man is there for you. Whenever you contribute, sorry, mm -hmm. whenever you contribute, your money is a portion into two portfolios, okay. which is the savings account mm -hmm. and then the a pension account, which is a retirement account. Okay. So this so, account, so that that is that is the explanation a lot of uh, people would want to hear because okay. the concern, especially for the informal sector uh, workers, is that I will pay this amount and when I come on pensions. I don't get because most of them are, are not very educated, and so okay. they will need to really understand. Okay. So if you're saying that their 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 contributions are going to be divided into two, into two. one will be in the savings account and the other in uh, the retirement in the account. retirement account. So yes. how how do I access savings accounts mm -hmm. because of their peculiar needs? Sometimes okay. somebody is working, and then you realize that the person comes back to say that I need money to revamp my business. Okay. I mean, what I'm doing has gone down. I need money to, to, to put into it. Mm -hmm. So this savings account at that time will help you. Mm -hmm. You will take money out of it and then put into your, your business. So I don't need to go uh, retire before I can access so the any of the money. So the retirement account okay. is there for you. For the retirement. For the retirement. Okay, so how many percent goes into the retirement account? Uh, some people will use 50-50. You but decide. It's up to, you no, decide. you the person okay. contributing. Decide. Okay, you the contributor decide on what percentage goes, goes into, into the into pensions retirement and, and goes into to, savings. Okay, so, so for instance, if I'm an informal sector worker and I've been contributing for... Uh, maybe six months, mm. and I tell you that I need to access some of my funds. Will I be able? At what point will I be able to access the one in the savings account? Wonderful. Mm. Um, just as we we discuss, some people might want to put just uh, a minute portion of their profit and whatever or their income into this account. Mm -hmm. So if you talk about six months, you wouldn't have gotten something substantial for you to use. For something that you really need to do. Okay. If you are injecting capital into your business or you are putting some money in there, I mean, since my contribution shouldn't aid you something good. Mm -hmm. So what happens is that the law says that you should contribute for a total of five years at okay. least. If you contribute for five years, you can withdraw this money. And this money is one mm -hmm. thing is that, my dear, mm -hmm. it's, it's, it's it's something that is being invested on your behalf. Okay. The monies are not just there to earn some, you know, small, small interest. No. Okay. The monies are actually invested into some good yielding, uh, uh, what do you call, portfolios okay. in order for you to get, you know, your money's worth. Okay. So by the time of five years that you have contributed consistently or however you contributed it, mm -hmm. I mean, you could get something good to inject into your business okay. or to see to your child's educational needs or whatever you want to do so you have to contribute for five years for five minimum years. before you can access even the yes. savings the one in the savings, the savings account yes okay but for the retirement one mm -hmm. you don't touch it until you have declared that i'm no more fit to work okay. and i want to have my pension okay then i'll just touch on that before we wrap up okay so when you work in the former sector uh, your date of birth, everything, everything is in the system. Mm -hmm. And so once you retire, your company is able to notify yeah. uh, your, your, your regulators to say that the person has retired and so you can let them have yes. their benefits. So the informal sector, how does that work? The informal sector, you have to go to your trustee mm -hmm. and tell your trustee that um, I am no longer working. Okay. So therefore, I'm coming to process for my pension. Okay. As simple as uh, how... And, and, uh, four because it would have taken your data and your details and everything, and everything. Yes, so yes. it would be easier so like finally so if i'm an informal sector worker and i've contributed for two or three years and i pass on mm. uh, so none of my uh, uh those who take over from me mm. uh your next can, of king my next your, of king can access your, the funds yeah. until after five years that's what the law says no immediately you pass off i mean go pass forbid, on, yeah. you, you pass on I mean, this money is paid to your beneficiaries. You have nominated them when you are filling the forms. Okay. So they will be called and the money pays to them with their interest and everything. Mm. Well, so some good news there. Uh, Rosina Akrofi is an officer at the 
uh, MPRA. MPRA is the uh, National Pensions Regulatory Authority, and she's with the Corporate Affairs Unit. And on Monday, they are launching the mobile sensitization program, and they are starting at Makola. From Makola, they'll go to Tema Station, mm -hmm. and then they'll go to Mamprobi, Kaneshi, Malata, Agbogloshi, Madina, Aswa. Kantamanto, Agbogloshi, Domi Market, Tema Fishing Harbor, Tema Community One Market, and Kaswa. And so you don't have to rush to go to Makola on Monday if you are not working at Makola. Don't forget that we are all supposed to adhere to the social distancing protocols. Don't worry. Whichever market center you find yourself, the MPRA will be there to ensure that they educate you on uh, this uh, uh, mobile sensitization program. It means that you can pay your pensions, you can contribute to your pensions via mobile money. You don't really have to go through all the documents. They'll come to you and they'll take you through that. Don't forget that this is good for you. And Mami, so please, let me, let I want to, you want to add something? To okay. Yes. okay. That um, coming to the market centers, we are coming with these trustees okay. who have been licensed. Mm -hmm. And then they will have their forms with them. So it will be easier for you this time around. They just... Um, kind of signing you on right there, mm -hmm. spot signing on, Absolutely. and then you start contributing, mm -hmm. okay? Mm -hmm. So we have made things easy for you. We easy. are coming to the All market, right. mm -hmm. and then you sign on. So here, you hear mm -hmm. the MPRA, um, I mean, loud, mm -hmm. uh, what do you call it, noise about MPRA mm -hmm. and all that, the, mm -hmm. the, the jingle is playing and everything. And all that, so. Just go, get closer to us Absolutely. and then you can get signed on because the trustees will also be there Absolutely. to do you good. Rosina, thank you so much for passing. This is a thank very important you. discussion. I'm really hoping that we could have gone on but we don't have the time. Okay. So maybe some other time. Rosina Kofi is the officer at the MPRA. She's a corporate affairs unit and so we want to encourage. I'm sure they'll go to the other region so you don't have to worry at all. Yeah.